God as he so effortlessly caught the world in bliss. If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one? Well, I, I watched you, and... You... Learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here. You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Shut up! You want to believe it. Is he there? not real? Is he there? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Delia? Nothing lives here. You He's won't not. survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. Sure. Maybe it's a sign, the tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. 
they cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hole. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Gram. Important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gram by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands. 
where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. What's the shard? Find it. It's the metal rune stones. It's in front of you. Find it. The metal. The runes. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tierving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember?
Alice. Finally. You found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another think. way. Think. 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 Focus. <sighs> use your mind. Where's he gone? He's disappeared. You Look. let him slip through your fingers Think. once again. Think. Think clearly. You have to find, find another way. Another there has way. to be another way. I can hear him. Hervor disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors. And soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. <gasps> listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. Oh, there he is. You're getting closer. Keep going. Send or follow the voice. You're nearly there. Dillian's voice. It's him. doesn't sound like Dillian. What's anymore. happening? It's not him, it can't be. What's that sound? The voice is changing. What? <gasps> That's not Dillian. That doesn't sound like Dillian. It sounds like something more dangerous. Something is here. Something is in the labyrinth with you. Something evil. Within the burial mound, 
Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. It's not Dillian. Dillion wants me to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. Chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. 
You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the crime. Come, child, take my hand. Come, send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Can you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. <laughs> 